going to be the beginning of Rosh Hashanah. It's a two-day uh, feast, two-day holiday for the Jews. And I just kind of wanted to show you um, the, the blast of the shofar because um, Rosh Hashanah means head of the year, but uh, you will not find this in scripture. You will find um, Yom Teruah, which is uh, the same thing in if, of this holiday. And, um, and Yom Teruah is the blasting or the blowing of the shofar. And, um, and this is what they do on Rosh Hashanah, um, the Feast of Trumpets. And this is the shofar and I am going to blow this shofar and um, and this is what you will hear as far as in Jerusalem tomorrow tomorrow evening um, but they they blow it like a hundred times and now I think maybe they blow it 30 times but I'm only going to blow it four times because I'm going to show you the different kinds of sounds that they will do during Rosh Hashanah and the first, um, the first sound is takia. Takia is a sound of, um, when they blow it, it summons the people. It will gather the people wherever they are in Jerusalem. Um, they are going to stop whatever they, they are doing and they were going to come to worship. It's also the sound of, um, a king's coronation in Rosh Hashanah. They will remember the sovereignty of God and they will take serious, um, that God is one. God is all. And, um, and this is what the blast, it's one consistent, um, sound. So here it goes. <clears throat> That is the first, and it's called the Kia. Now, the second one, it is called Shavarim. And Shavarim is, um, is three consecutive sounds, and it will um, sound or liken onto a cry, because uh, Shavarim is actually means to break or to fracture. And it is a sound of um, pain, a sound of a cry or a wailing. Um, they are to be called to to um, to remember their sins and to to wail and to to cry before the Lord. And this is what it sounds like. And then, um, and everybody doing that all at once is actually kind of sounds like wailing and crying. And then um, the the last one, or the second to the last one, is um, Tarura. It's an urgent sound, an urgent sound of alarm to summons the people and to get ready for Rosh Hashanah or um, the, the next um, 10 days of awe. And uh, it's to summons um, an alarm or an urgent cry calling to arouse the people for, uh, you know, uh, spiritually, but to awaken them. And this is what this is sounds like. <clears throat> And then the very last one is called the the great tekia. <laughs> um, like the first one is one consecutive um, sound, but this one, if you have a lot of air, which I don't know if I have, but it's going to sound like um, a very long, long consecutive um, sound and um, it's also to tell the people that um, this is going to usher in the next um, 10, 10 days and to um, to remember and to account of your sins to to um, remember and repent and um, to come back to to God so this is what this sounds like and that's um the blowing of the shafar thanks for letting me share